this one's called the Brewer Nash model, and it's also known as the Chinese wall model. And um, essentially what it means is that um, if you are, let's say you're a consultant and you're working for some company, um, you uh, may have access to a lot of other companies' um, data because um, you might work for a lot of different companies and you're just here maybe on a freelance basis. Um, so basically the, the Brewer uh, Nash model is that um, you're only given access to um, data or environments that aren't uh, that don't prevent present themselves as conflicts of interest with other data that you have access to. So, as an example, um, if you have access to one company's information, um, it might present some sort of insider trading um, kind of threat if you write that information to another company's um, network. So that's why it's called the Chinese wall model model. Um, and the way I remember this one um, is that Brewer Nash is like a very English sounding or very English sounding names. And I think of the the colonial United Kingdom powers. So I think of the Chinese wall. And that's how I remember the Chinese wall model.